Hi, and welcome to Rise to Ruin. I'm Grey Hunter, and we're going to be giving a go at this one. So, this is a pixel based survival tower defense game, I think they call it themselves, but quite a nice sort of thing. So, um, I've created a profile. This is the world. You can sell, start on any one of these, and the idea is to eventually colonize the entire island. Um, I think this place is looking pretty good. So, I'm going to establish my village here in Azurus. So, made up place number 142. So, I gotta get quickly started because, you know, when night comes, monsters will arrive. And we don't want that, do we? Yeah. Right. So. We've got food, we've got water, we've got crystal. I think this. We've got some nice buildings here. Also down here we've got crystal, it's got food, water. There's a lot more defensible, but it doesn't have much room to build, so I'm just gonna place my camp here. And then everyone's gonna like teleporting because I'm a god of course and then start building right they've come in with the materials they need but I'm gonna have to start assigning wood to harvest assign some rock to harvest and we can't do food and water just yet but this will be useful once they finish the camp because at the moment they're out of home, so... Harvesting. Lumber shack. There. And a mining facility. Down here. So, I've got a population of 14. Uh, 12 buildings I can build at the moment. And what I'm going to do now is just give these guys a quick hand. So can you see that question mark? People get very confused when God helps them out. So what I'm doing is using the grab tool to grab rock and drop it into here. It save them time from harvesting it. Right, I don't have enough influence. So this is my grab tool here. This is my mana. In a second, they all pick off and just carry on building. Let's see if we can get a radiance pool I can steal from. Most maps will have one. And apparently, this one doesn't have any. Alright, that's fine. We've got a couple of colored gates. We're right next to a Mesa spray tower, which would be very useful. Alright, we don't have one of the materials, it looks like stones, cut stones, crystal. I'll tell them to harvest some crystal if they get to it. Harvesting resources we've done, workers. Right. So at some point, somewhere on this map will spawn corruption. Here we go. So this is where the corruption started. Um, it will slowly spread, but it's going to spread up here, which is quite nice for me, because it means I can, if I rush to build here, I can block it off quite easily. So I know which way I'm expanding. Um, one of these will show me, right, now we get two workers, so they're now lumberjacks, so they should start collecting lots and lots of um, wood for me, I will need an auxiliary 
hotkey. It helps you pick the right hotkey, doesn't it? Sure, these guys have got everything they need. Alright, there's, there's plenty of wood on the ground now. After this, we're going to get some housing going. So, lumberjacks are a lot more are the dedicated wood harvesters. Builders will harvest, but only if there's no resources around. So, it's much more efficient to have someone else build the resources. Let's just knock time up a little bit. Yeah, I'm not going to go with a plus two. Now we've got some iron ore down. So they're going up to collect the wood. Next up is going to be some housing, so let's go back to civics. Oh, we don't know that. Yeah, housing. We have. 14 people, so we're going to need 4 houses. Um, and I want to be continuing to expand this direction, so let's do that like that. So now I'm going to take 2 builders off, and when this actually gets finished, Actually, I'll put the two builders back on for now. Oh, I've built two lumber shacks because I'm a moron. Oh well. That's not what you want to start off with. Mining facility. Oh well, at least I'm like preset for huge amounts of lumber. I missed that one. I was getting confused with God's helping out. Alright, so... We've already got a stockpile of 18 lumber, which is great. We need a fair bit more stone, but that's not too bad. I can mine all this pretty much with impunity. See the corruption is already spreading. And they're starting to destroy some of these walls. Harvesting their own rock, harvesting their own wood. Housing's going up, it's makeshift at the moment, I can upgrade that, but I'll be leaving that till after I've got um, a few other things done. Alright. Because of course they're working on the thing they've got plenty of materials for. Hoover. So that sparkly stuff there is mana. I'm just going to hoover that up. And then that will give me enough to get the grab tool going again. So that will be. That's created by all kind of activity. We've got a little box here. It's a loot box, but you have to pay anything, of course. You just have to earn keys or find keys. Sometimes, we're looking around the map, you'll find keys. Yeah, we're going to have to. It's going to be a bit of a race to get some walls down. Not enough rock. Well, we can go back to grab mode and go. There you go, that's all the rock you'll need. Right, 
influence is built up based off your population size. So, so we've got a population of 12, 16, 13, 16. Stuff. We're at 9 of 12 buildings, so I will have to build on that salary soon. Right, they're bringing huge amounts of wood, because we've got large wood, amounts of wood stockpiled. I'm just going to hoover up this manor again. But it looks like they don't really need me much now. I'm going to go and have a look at... I think we need some a, a bow tower. They're pretty easy to build. And having one will help me. So they don't have any crystal. So let's drop the crystal off first. Some rock. Just so I'm well aware night is coming. Right, the next building I'm gonna need to build is gonna be a It's in civics, isn't it? Well, I need an auxiliary. Let's get an auxiliary down. Pop it up here. Oh, I can take two miners off. Right, we'll now be stockpiling. That requires a bow here. Which isn't here. Oh, no, it's manufacturing, isn't it? There we go. Put the barrier down here as well. Alright, so construction should start speeding up a little bit now, seeing we've got dedicated builders. See, we've got stone stockpiled, we've got wood stockpiled. This thing's going up pretty quickly now. I like to get my resources down first. Once you've got those two basics, things will get a bit easier. Once we've got a barrier as well. And then the ancillary. So the ancillary will produce nothing, but it, it will allow us to have something completely separate, which is a um, the bow you produce has the ancillary will have an organizer, and an organizer is quite important because they're the guys who basic they're basically your transport guys. They make sure everyone's got all the right stuff in the right place. The bow you will make arrows for bow towers. Which I might try and get a second one up with soon. I'm doing very well dropping this stuff where I don't need it. I'm gonna run out of influence soon. Over a bit up. Right, night time's coming. Right, so we'll drop a builder, two builders, in favour of two organisers. Which might be overkill at this stage, but... Yeah, so organisers resources throughout the village, distributing resources where they need it, cleaning up resources scattered around the village. So those guys will then just go around and think, oh look, you've dropped all this stuff, let's move it to somewhere needed. So basically it's all about making the builders build all the time and everyone else just wandering around. I'm probably going to have to take another builder off to make it a Bowyer, Fletcher. I've only really got one tower so. Make ballista bolts. Maintain. At about 20, shall we? So that means they should always have 20 blister bolts in. Right, so my builders are currently bored. So I think we should go back to refining and put in a crystal leaf. A lumber mill and a stone cutter. Oh, no, I know what we need. I'll put a farm down. 
I want my people to starve, apparently. So, we need a farm. Which I'm going to put down out of the way. And a rain catcher. Probably two rain catchers. I'm going to make these top priority. The second one actually can be bottom. Right. So we're playing on playing this on survival mode. There we go. Dusk has arrived. The monsters will be coming soon. But the matrix tower has got 20 ammo. I'm going to increase that up to 40. Then we've always got enough for a second tower. Right, so the auxiliary is up. We can have up to 18 buildings. I can either build more or I can upgrade it. We should give plus two range, plus two one organizers, and plus two building slots. So I'll whack that in the queue. I'll be at the bottom, but. Alright, so we can't do that because we haven't got the cut stone. I'm hoping we can get some nomads in soon. Monsters are coming, it's a headless. So when the tower defence pops in. As you can see, one tower is pretty good for dealing with that guys. But I'm gonna put another tower down. What I can do now is I can click on that guy just to get rid of the body. night. So, defence, towers, bow tower, and the next one can go up here. And we'll go to grab mode. And we'll take some wood from off here. Sometimes it helps if you actually hit. Don't worry people, God is helping you. So, looking like we'll survive the first night quite nicely. Work on the lumber shops going well. Ah, I know what the problem is now. We've already harvested out all the wood I told them they could harvest. There we go. That should last them for a bit longer. I do have magical spells at the top here, which will allow me to like regrow stuff. But it's not really necessary at the moment. Just gonna click on these things to Turn them into mana. Anyway, Fletchers are fletching. Organizers are organizing, everyone else is kind of building. So now I need to steal another builder to get a water master going. So, water master will collect water and make sure everyone's got something nice to drink. The farm should be the top priority now. But I think everyone's kind of having a bit of a rest at the moment. Yeah, quite a lot of people. Oh, that's just who's allocated the housing, I think. The 
course they will run away from the monsters because they're not stupid. Alright, let's get back up to the time. Anyway, that's the first video. We have a nice little settlement. And I hope you'll join me next time for a bit more Rise to Ruin.